Hey Chuck, this is John with Sheets Digital. We spoke earlier on the phone about uh, what a website can do for you and how it can bring you jobs. I uh, just want to go over some brief things with you to kind of show you uh, what, what it can actually do for you. Uh, so we'll go over this in detail and then if you're interested, you can uh, reach us at a couple ways, uh, either through the email or you can give us a call and I'll, I'll leave that information at the end of this video. So we'll start out by talking about what happens when you type in a phrase in Google. So Concrete Contractors Jacksonville FL is what I typed in and these are the results we get. So no one's, no one's a stranger to this that has a phone or a computer and uh, as we see here at the top three in this map pack, there are uh, two of these don't have reviews. And it's important to note that because reviews aren't the only thing that drives your ranking up here. If we can see, uh, A.A. Pittman and Sons Concrete Company here, uh, they probably have the least amount of uh, directory uh, input than these other two. Meaning, these two others have their name address and phone numbers in there more times than other people that than the other competition does so like they have their name and address and phone number in yelp they have it in angie's list they have it in um, the better business bureau they have it in um, other directory sites that have a listing kind of like the yellow pages the more listings you have uh the more it increases your chances of being higher there's also things to consider like photos in your profile up-to-date information on the actual profile itself, and of course your five-star reviews. So if we go into this next part, which is the organic searches, this is what actually shows up when you type that in. Um, you will see Home Advisor shows up, Better Business Angie's List, Expertise.com, so on, so on. Those are usually the first things that show up because they're so such big websites. Um, they're it's kind of hard to get past them sometimes. So. The first thing we see is Concrete Contractors Jacksonville, Florida, and Jacksonville Concrete. Now, um, there's two main components to building a website. Content and the backlinks that power it. And I'll go over that in a little bit of detail. Uh, not too much because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Uh, so I already had Jacksonville Concrete pulled up. We can look at this eventually as well. Uh, but First, we'll look at Jacksonville Concrete. So if we look at their overview of their website, we can see what it's bringing in. 64 people clicked on their website. They have 34 keywords ranking and 115 backlinks. Now, keywords, again, are what people search for when they type it into Google. Uh, keywords themselves are phrases like Jacksonville Concrete, Concrete Company, Jacksonville, Florida, Concrete Contractors, Jacksonville, Florida, so on and so on. So what we see here is the amount of people searching for these terms and then what rank they are in Google. So we see Jacksonville Concrete. They have the number one position. They are number one when you type in Jacksonville Concrete. Uh, there are 80 people searched for that term alone and 80 people, uh, you know, at least 10% of that clicked on that website and checked it out. Um, and it's important to note, I'll go back here real quick, their number 64, um, that's not much. I've seen a lot more and they're doing some things wrong and there's a lot of business to be made here. So, uh, usually speak, uh, very generally speaking, uh, when you see this organic traffic number, you get about 10% of that, um, for jobs. Uh, it could be up, it could be down, just that's, that's the golden number. Uh, so if we go back to their... Uh, their keywords here, we'll see their positioning and the volume of these searches. I actually have an entire keyword list set up so we can see more of what is actually there. So we see Concrete Contractors Jacksonville, Florida, 150 people search that. Concrete Jacksonville, Florida, 100. Concrete Company Jacksonville, Florida, 100. Concrete Contractor Jacksonville, Florida, 100. So if we work these key terms into your content on your website, meaning, you know, you have uh, a bunch of stuff describing what you do and what services you offer on your homepage and you work those phrases in, you'll get credit from Google uh, for for putting those in there and that people will be searching those terms and you'll rank for those keywords at a certain point and you'll show up on Google somewhere. Now, the only way these get powered and you get higher up in the rankings is if you do backlinks. Backlinks, as we'll see here on 
their website. Uh, they have 115. Now, it's important to note that they have a domain rating of six. So that probably means they're not very high on Google's list as far as being an authority on concrete. So they probably have a bunch of backlinks that don't have anything to do with concrete and are bringing their rating down. So that's the thing about backlinks. They have to have something to do with your business. And backlinks, just to clarify, are your website, your actual website address being posted on another website address that can be clicked on and leads back to your website. So you can't just put your website on, say, um, a museum's webpage and get that much credit for, you know, any, about anything really. You, you have to, there has to be some kind of connection, whether you did work for them, whether um, it has something mildly to do with it. You can't just attach your website to, say, a pizza company and it'll give you credit for it. You might get a little bit, but it has nothing to do with what you do for a living and therefore won't give you much uh, empowering your, your keywords. So uh, backlinks and keywords are the driving force behind bringing in traffic to your website. So when we take a look at content, it's important to note here, we'll look at uh, Jack's Concrete's website. They have a decent amount of content. They have a lot of words here. I, I'd guess probably just over a thousand. Um, we could do the keyword count if you wanted to, but I don't think it's worth our time and it'll take up too much time on this video and I want to keep this as brief as possible. Um, but they have those keywords hidden throughout their, their web page and Google recognizes that. So what's And what's really important to note here is they don't have much here. We could blow them out of the water if you want to. Um, I personally, this is shocking to me how easy it would be. Um, and I would love to do that for you if you're interested. Uh, you can reach me at sheets digital, S H E E T S digital at gmail.com. Or you can call us on our office number, which is 937 507. 6596, or you can reach me on my cell, which is what I called you from, 937-903-8766. Again, if you're not interested in doing this, totally understand, that's fine. You can do whatever you want with this information, and I hope it serves you well if it does. But if you are interested in doing more, we can uh, do a breakdown of what you expect from us, what you expect to do, and all that kind of stuff, and go over it in greater detail. I'd love to speak with you more. I hope everything goes well, and... Give us a call. Thanks. Have a great day.